as we engage with the people in the community, there are already people in those communities that God had prepared. They can be men, they can be women, they can be children, they can be people who have positions in the community, but they have been prepared by God to receive a disciple maker in that community so that they can open up their relationships and their friendship and their families to the gospel. Those people are called men and women of peace. So I have this lady uh, that I used to know, and this lady was a drunkard, and she, she was really oppressed. And this lady used to ask me so many questions about God. She really wanted to know so much about the Bible. Sometimes she would ask you questions. And uh, in my heart, I perceived that this could be the person of peace because that's one of their characteristics, people who are hungry, people who are thirsty for the word of God. So I developed a relationship with her and uh, I used now to share with her the word of God. And after a few weeks, she really, she really loved the, the Discovery Bible study. And so I would go to her and then we would meet and share with her family. She welcomed her friends and some of her relatives, and we had a big Discovery Bible study. And so after some time, it split to other groups. And now at the moment, as we speak now, they have six new Discovery Bible studies. So it was really impactful because some of her old friends who used to drink with her, they were amazed by the transformation of this lady. And so they wanted us to, to see what this new thing this lady had discovered. In Luke 10, uh, in verse 5 to 7, Jesus instructed his disciples. They go to a village and uh, they find a, a person of peace and he welcomes them, them or him. They stay into that house. They eat what they are given. They, they share the gospel with the man of peace in that house. They communicate with them, they pray together, they, dis uh, they discover the word of God together and uh, they make relationships. And uh, in that, a discovery Bible study is started. And when they start a discovery Bible study, when the man of peace is now is willing to bring his friends, his family members, the whole village will come. And then the, the, the gospel will start spreading from the house of man of peace. In a specific place in Northern Kenya, I was doing a training and uh, I was training a group of people. One person was a chief. He came from a village to come and see a relative. And I wanted to see him during lunchtime, but he requested me if he can join the training. When he came in, he was sitting at the back and listening to the, the teaching that I was doing. And so he asked me a question over the lunch, if he, he can be allowed to do the same because he thought this training was for the specific people. I told him yes, because Jesus, you know, asked each one of us to do it. So he went back to his village. He practiced those three things that he had. And then after a month, a group was meeting in his house. And as a result of him, the communities started working together because he was also a chief. He was not only a chief that can represent the government, but he became a person of peace that can open his community and other communities to the gospel. Today we have peace in that community. Not because he was a person of peace, it because he brought the peace and transformation that came through an individual. Churches planted, communities transformed, and now multiplication of disciples and churches are happening in that community. Having a person of peace in a certain village or in a certain place, it makes everything easier. The concept of the person of peace is very important and very simple to take the gospel to the unreached people group. One is supposed to, to pray. Secondly, is supposed to is supposed to introduce the word of God to, to the man of peace and then introduces a discovery to let this person discover the truth for himself. The concept of the person of peace is so important for us to be able to start a disciple-making movement. There are so many examples of a person of peace in the scriptures. We see Cornelius in the book of Acts. We see Lydia. 
These are the people who introduced Paul to their families. In the same way, God has so many persons of peace today in our communities or even in the communities far away. I encourage you today to go take a step of faith. Go to a community. God is sending you there to find that person of peace. As you find that person, movement will begin.